Senate Lawa, no doubt 16 years is no small years for us uh, in the Assembly. But do you think that uh, the Southeast has been zoned out of this particular presidency in the Senate? What is your party saying about people from the Southeast? Aren't they also interested in being Senate president? You know, even though uh, this is not winner at all, but I believe that people who voted for the APC would like to see offices run to them. But that is not to say that the Southeast that has no APC uh, legislator would be completely out of uh, 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 consideration. My, my, my belief is the Southeast uh, has something to offer our, our colleagues from the, from the Southeast. Uh, many of them are very qualified and uh, experienced, and there are ways they can uh, participate very fully in the Senate and indeed in the National Assembly. No one can negate uh, the fact that you need every part of Nigeria to participate in the process of legislation or governance. So, but the, it depends on what level you are talking about. It is certainly not uh, realistic to expect that uh, someone who is not in APC, uh, a senator, would become a Senate president because. Our experience and uh, our convention is the majority party produces the presiding officers. But I believe that the, 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 those others who belong to other political parties, not in the majority and the minority, have a huge role to play. And I've said uh, before that we need every senator to participate in the process of legislation. There are several committees there. We, we need to tap the experiences of our colleagues from the Southeast. And I know so many of my friends who have been in the, in the, in the Senate for a, for a very long time, they have been very uh, helpful to, to make sure that the Senate remains stable and they, they, they can do uh, the same in the end Senate. So I, 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 I don't believe that the, the party APC will allow uh, for someone who is not in the party to, to run or be a member, I mean, a presiding officer, but I believe that when we are able to, to get the position, we will make the South East and the South South very comfortable uh, senators in, in the Senate in terms of relevance, in terms of playing very key roles in ensuring uh, stability, in ensuring uh, uh, legislative activities going on smoothly, and ensuring that change that Nigeria voted for uh, materializes for, for the betterment of everyone. You're not the only one with uh, quite an impressive uh, credential there. You also have uh, Senator Bukola Saraki, uh, two-time governor of Kwara State, and of course uh, he's also been in the Senate for eight years. Uh, are you worried you may not be elected? No, I'm not worried, but let me correct an impression. My brother has uh, been in the Senate only for four years, not eight years. So that, that, that's the point of correction. Secondly, I'm not, um, my, my, quarters, my, my, my aspiration is not a do or die affair. I am the highest ranking senator in the APC, as I said at the beginning, and I possess all the requisite qualifications for me to leave the Senate, the Health Senate. That does not mean that if I don't get it, the heavens will fall. I only want to contribute in the most um, uh, uh, relevant way I can to ensuring that the programs of the APC under the administration of President Muhammad Buhari are actualized for the betterment of Nigerians for the common good. That is all. So I, 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 I believe that we, we are having a very friendly uh, competition and contest with my brother and friend, and I, I don't think any of us will, 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 will feel uh, so, so agreeable to the extent of maybe thinking of doing something unnecessary. I am not, I'm not desperate. I, I, I believe I have something to offer uh, that much. I, I, I want to make clear to, to my colleagues and my leaders and elders, but my prayer is I get it. If I don't, the heavens will not fall. By the grace of God, I've been in the Assembly for 19 years. I never held any political office, but I've contributed so meaningfully and reasonably and so well to, to the development of the legislature in, in, in the National Assembly. So I, 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 can, I can do the same in the Senate, by the grace of God. Well, Senator, quite a number of people watching are bringing back this question. They also think that uh, the Senate should be able to, in fact, they want your opinion on still on cutting costs. They think that uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to cut the cost of the National Assembly this time by 50% to help at least see what we can do with resources. Well, I, 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 say, I explain this. You see, the point we are making is we have a budget of 120 billion in a budget of, in a national budget of 4.6 trillion. Tell me how 
how much that percentage will be. It's so negligible. So if you want to cut costs uh, of governance in Nigeria, we should go beyond looking at the National Assembly. Because what is in the National Assembly is so municipal, in my opinion. You need to cut the cost of governance across the board. If you want to cut the budget of the National Assembly at 50 percent, then cut the budget of all the other uh, arms of government at 50 percent. That is the only way you can realize something substantial and reduce the cost of governance. So I have no problem with that, but I am advising that we should be careful not to miss the point. Because when you say cut the cost of national assembly at 50 percent, how much will that be? Perhaps uh, uh, 50, 60 billion naira. Is that what you are looking for? 50, 60 billion naira? Well, Senator, some people will say that uh, 50. Just a moment, if I may come in. You have the cutting of costs across the board so that you can actually realize something substantial and ensure that people remain prudent when, when, when they are entrusted to public funds. Yeah, a lot of people will agree with you that, you know, it should be cut across the board. I mean, you also talked about merging agencies and parastatals. A lot of people will say that some people will lose their jobs. There is no way that senators or members of the National Assembly who will be getting $150 billion uh, will tell us some other people who are possibly getting a very tiny fraction or whatever accrues to the parastatals and agency to do without salaries or lose their jobs when the senators or na National Assembly members are still keeping their own $150 billion. In any case, $150 billion, as some people look at it, is that it's meant for less than 500 people. And they think that that is way too much to maintain the cost of keeping 500 people at most in, in, in two chambers of the National Assembly. Well, let me say that I'm not defending... Uh the 120 or 150 billion naira appropriated to the National Assembly. But what I'm saying is, if we really want to cut the cost of governance, then we should go beyond the cutting the cost of uh, running the National Assembly. Yes, you cut the cost of running the National Assembly, say by 80%, but go across the board, the other arms of government. And that does not include personal cost. What we are saying is, there are some agencies of government that have been in existence since 1960 that don't do anything except public funds and eat them up. Some are there, but they duplicate each other. You don't need them. If you are talking about uh, cutting the cost of governance, you have to get rid of some of them. Maybe redeploy the staff to some other uh, relevant agencies, streamline the agencies to provide efficient and effective service to Nigeria. So, 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 this 150 uh, billion dollar that we are talking about, it's not in my judgment about members of the National Assembly. It's about providing quality registration. Let's continue to encourage people of high caliber and quality to come to the National Assembly, to make legislations, to perform oversight and representation, to make Nigeria a better place. There is no way you can have an effective and efficient administration or a governance that provides for the public good without an effective National Assembly. So let's encourage people to come. All right, Senator. At, we, at we... the end of the day, you will have people who hardly... Uh, understand what their functions will be because people who call it to will stay away from it. We have to so go, I, Senator. I think that we can cut the cost of government by, by whatever percentage, but make it across the board. All right. Uh, addition, thank thank you, addition, Senator. <laughs> we, we, we know you could go on and on. Integrity and credibility to come into the process, into the system of legislation and other uh, arms of government. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Senator Ahmed Lawan, Chairman, Senate Committee on Public Accounts. And we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Good morning. All right, and we'll be back in just a moment. Join us again.